Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to No Prep News, episode number 236. It is finally the day. It is finally the episode where we talk about the start of season seven of Street Outlaws No Prep Kings. The off season is officially over. We've gone through all the different rumors and topics we could possibly discuss from the end of last season to the start of this season, which begins right now, here today with this video, or technically the past two days because it started on Friday, because Friday, April 19th, and Saturday, April 20th, No Prep Kings season number seven kicked off at Maple Grove Raceway in Mountain, Pennsylvania, and it put on a absolutely phenomenal event for the very first one. Now, there's a lot of things to really take away from this initial race because we learned a ton of stuff. There was so much stuff that came out with this first race in terms of drivers with new stuff, changes to No Prep Kings in terms of the rules and all that stuff, and then changes to how No Prep Kings is going to be covered. For instance, the videos for this next week, we're going to take all of these big things we learned about from this first race and talk about them each in their own video. This video will be just specifically covering what took place during the race. But for a sneak peek and for some things that you might be wondering why didn't you talk about them this week, these are the things I'm currently planning on talking about next week that I'm so excited to dive into. First, Street Outlaws No Prep Kings Live, the social media pages, those actually covering the events live with live streams and all that stuff. We'll be talking about that this next week. The losers bracket in No Prep Kings now and how we have the first round of the main event on Friday night and then Saturday is the remaining of the winners bracket and then the losers bracket as well. And also too, some massive changes to certain cars such as the Murder Nova going all white with red wheels. Dude, there's so much crazy stuff that we learned about this past weekend and it's just, it feels so good to be back in the swing of no prep kings i am so excited for this season to take place and starting off this first race honestly like when i first saw the stuff that happened and who won the event and all that stuff i was like okay if i'm being honest this is kind of how i anticipated last season to take place because for those that do recall Season number five of No Prep Kings, we felt like we had a good grasp of, okay, what's going to happen going from season five to season six. Then we saw season six last season. No, like, nobody could have guessed what happened during season six to have actually happened. It was absolutely insane. If you were to have shown me right after season five of No Prep Kings, the first event of season six and the first event of season seven, I pr and I had to guess which event was the season premiere of season six without knowing which was which, I probably would have said this race right here would have been the race that took place after the end of season number five, because we'll get into it with the finals of this race a bit more. But like this race is like what I anticipated No Prep Kings to be like last season. And it's just, it's such a great, like uh, you might be thinking, get into the races and all that stuff. But like, I just want to emphasize this. Like this is exactly how we anticipated last season to take place. Last season went nothing like anyone could have ever expected. But I think it's so crazy that despite last season being completely how like nothing how anyone would have, would have expected, then this season is like exactly how we thought last season was going to be. It's like, it's just, I find that like just so mind-boggling. I can't even like fully formulate it into words how I'm trying to get it across because it's like, you think about it, end of season five, going to season six, we anticipated one thing, nothing we anticipated happened, then the full season and year goes by, and then all of a sudden, as if like season six never happened, we pick up to where exactly we thought things were going to leave off after season five, there, that's a good way to describe it, like it is just so mind-boggling and insane, and this is going to be an absolutely crazy season, as No Prep Kings always is, but getting into the race right here, as I mentioned, April 19th and 20th, we had Maple Grove Raceway in Mountain, Pennsylvania, as the first race of No Prep Kings season number seven. And we're going to go through here with a couple of the main rounds and stuff and with the big, big events which took place in each one as we always do. For those that may not have followed along with the videos in the past, No Prep King seasons, what I kind of do for these videos of No Prep News here during the No Prep King season is essentially do a recap of the race and I pull out kind of the biggest races I want to talk about from each round. I don't go race by race and all that stuff. There's social media pages that post all that stuff. I like talking about like the main, event or the main races from each round from the event from the past weekend. And in the first round, Justin Swanstrom lost to Daddy Dave. Rough start for Justin Swanstrom. I was hoping to see him, you know, come out swinging 
this season, but like first round loss, like unfortunate to see it is unfortunate to see. I mean, he is a new car and all this stuff, but like, uh, I was hoping we see Swanstrom turn up early in this season, but hey, it's unfortunate. It is, it is the first race though. Like it is what it is. It's plenty of time to bounce back and recover. Then the second round, dude, the Murder Nova beat Kai Kelly. I mean, the reigning defending champion, Kai Kelly, falls to the Murder Nova. And I'm not trying to make it seem like this is a crazy upset that the Murder Nova beat him. But, like, and, like talk down the Murder Nova by saying that. But it's like, the Murder Nova's never won an event. Kai Kelly's the reigning champion. Like, shout out Team Murder Nova. Like, that's crazy to see right there. Maybe we'll see them finally win an event this year. I've been saying for years now at this point. I want to see them win an event so we can watch that YouTube video of them. Like, the No Prep Teams recap they put out of them winning an event. Like, I think that'll be so cool. So, maybe, just maybe, we'll see that happen this season. Because them beating Kai Kelly in the first race is a crazy thing to see. Then in the quarterfinals, we saw Ryan Martin ending up beating the Murder Nova. Now, it's like, again, I bring this race up because it's like kind of the hierarchy we hit here with the 405. Like... Yeah, we see Murder Nova take out Kai Kelly. Insane. But then it's like, Ryan Martin still establishes himself as being like the fastest the 405s got with taking out the Murder Nova in this first round. Ryan Martin's just like, he's just... R Ryan Martin just did Ryan Martin things this race, essentially. That's the best way to describe it. In the semifinals here, we had a... Like, again, if you were to ask me what drivers do I think would have done good in Season 6 after Season 5 ended, it would have been these four drivers right here. I actually think... Do I have my predictions from season number six of No Prep Kings. Oh my God. I'm reading this to you guys right now. So No Prep Kings season six predictions. I said Jim Howe slash Caleb Morton for fifth, Daddy Day for fourth, Ryan Morton for third, Kai Kelly for second, Justin Swanston for one. The semifinals of this first race right here, we have Robin Roberts versus Ryan Martin and Kayla Morton versus Jim Howe. The only driver I didn't mention in those season six predictions was Robin Roberts. But to be fair, we had Robin Roberts in our season five predictions because we were expecting him to do really good there. But then he kind of just had an off season that one season. But like Kayla Morton and Jim Howe both being there. Robin Roberts and Ryan Martin as well. Ryan Martin's honestly expected. Robin Roberts like performing to the level we've always like assumed he would perform. Then Jim Howe and Kayla Morton. And it's like, it's just, again, I, you, probably got, you guys are probably sick of me saying this by now. But it's like, this is what we expected season six to be now again it is the first race but again i just think it's so crazy that like this is how this race is playing out it's so insane so insane and in that semifinals, we had ryan martin end up beating robin roberts and jim howe beat kayla morton and in the finals we have jim howe versus ryan martin now let me explain why this is so significant right here the season finale for season five Ryan Martin needed to win one round. He just had to win a single round to seal the No Prep Kings Championship. In the first round of the season finale, he goes against Jim Howe, and Jim Howe beats him. Jim Howe was on a tear towards the end of season number five. Then it's like, okay, Kai Kelly now has a chance to win. If Kai Kelly goes on to win the whole event, he wins the championship for No Prep Kings in season five. Round two, Kai Kelly draws Jim Howe. Jim Howe beats Kai Kelly, and Jim Howe goes on to win the whole event. And we were like, Jim Howe took out one and two, then won the event. He's going to be the guy to watch going into season number six. Now, I'm not trying to say like he did horrendous in season six, but I was like, I was expecting him to win season six. I'm being completely honest. Like, we had him at number five on the predictions and all that stuff. But like, based on the success he had at the, that, like that last race, the, like we might have like overanalyzed that or like made too much of over, uh, overreacted to that final race. But like, I just like, because... Ryan needed one win, and he beat him there. Then Kai Kelly, could have, he had the opportunity, and Jim Howe took that from him again. Then Jim Howe won the race. Like, I thought that was so crazy to see. And then here we have Jim Howe beating Ryan Martin in the finals of the first race. Like, Jim Howe might be a serious player in this season of Two Outlaws No Prep Kings. Going out first race, beating Caleb Morton in the semis, Ryan Martin in the finals. Jim Howe had a phenomenal first race, and I am excited to see how the remainder of this season plays out. We are only one race into it, and I cannot wait to see the next race, which is, let me get the, the schedule up real quick for you guys right here. So the next race is April 26th, and 27th next weekend at Virginia Motorsports Park in Petersburg, Virginia. I cannot wait for that race. And what a phenomenal first race we had here to kick off Season 7 of Street Outlaws No Prep Kings. And that is all for this week's episode of No Prep News. I thank you all so much for watching TTVE. Make sure you guys click that little bell to notifications on so you don't miss a single video that I upload. Make sure you leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Your reactions to this first race. How excited are you that No Prep Kings is back? Let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comment section down below. Like I said, I thank you all so much for watching TTVE. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
hope you guys had a great weekend this weekend and looking forward to a great week this weekend. I honestly can't thank you guys enough for watching TTV. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all I see is XYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Sim ABC XYZ signing out.